This is uh, Belmarsh Prison behind me. It's a Category A prison containing the publisher uh, Julian Assange. Um, we've been here for 21 days now. Um, after 140 days, 24-7, um, outside the Ecuadorian Embassy, when Julian was dragged out uh, by the British Special Branch. Um, what's interesting is that the Greenwich Royal Borough Council have uh, issued what was used to be called an ASBO, a Community Protection Order. Um, and look, it appears, according to a whistleblower from the council, that this is under direction of the Home Office uh, to remove our vigil, as you can see over here, um, uh, from the area. Now, <laughs> the motive, of course, is to make Julian Assange invisible, which has been pretty much uh, accomplished for the past year with the uh, sycophantic Marino Ecuadorian government switching the internet off on him. Uh, up to that point, Julian could do interviews um, and speak on Skype uh, to people uh, from the embassy. So. Julian, it's interesting, I remember a friend saying in the 70s that we have the most invisible ruling elite in human history. And what WikiLeaks and Julian Assange has done is to make that invisible elite visible and their crimes and corruption very visible. And their response is to try and make him invisible um, by burying him alive in the prison system. Now Julian at the moment is in a cell 23 hours a day, with one hour exercise and they hope to bury him in a deeper, darker dungeon in the United States. So we think probably Florence, Colorado, the supermax. Um, so our role within the Catholic worker movement, um, our movement is based on like, living like the early Christians in community, practicing the acts of mercy, and which one is to visit the prisoner. And that's what we're doing here. And the flip side of that is to confront those principalities and powers, those institutions um, that create poverty, war, and death. And um, we're touched by Julian's work because things like empires, the British and American empire, they won't last like the Romans and the Egyptians. What is eternal are things like love and solidarity and truth. And that's what WikiLeaks deals with, the truth. They've never published anything untrue, never had to retract anything. So um, Julian is a prophet, he's not a saint, he's a prophet. And that is someone who speaks truth to power and expels those are powerful and if you look at what happened to the prophets of the Old Testament like John the Baptist uh, they were handed over by collaborators like Mr Marino, like the Australian government, like the English left um, and we've got to you know wake up and we've got to defend our brothers and sisters who are being dragged before the courts because Julian Assange is a canary in the mine shaft. The abandonment of Chelsea Manning and Julian Assange says nothing about the integrity of these two people. It says everything about those organisations, those NGOs that have abandoned them. Those people like Amnesty International who are well paid and stop the war, well paid and are failing to do the jobs that they're paid to do. And um, that's why we as Catholic workers are out here uh, living rough on the streets and um, in solidarity with Julian Assange. And we hope you can do what you can do where you are.